largest selling lipstick, Revlon, world's largest selling nail enamel, Revlon, whose wonderful new hairspray, Silkenet, holds your hair in place perfectly. Revlon, the greatest name in cosmetics, brings you the favorite show of the Hollywood stars, Mike Stokey's Pantomime Quiz. <laughs> Festivities is your genial host, Mike Stokey. Ah. Thank you, Bill Rogers. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Pantomime Quiz. You saw the physical setup. We have eight wonderful stars, four on each side. Over here are our challengers. Here are our champs. So let's meet them right away. Upstage next to me. Very handsome gentleman who just finished co-starring with Jane Russell in Underwater, Mr. Richard Egan. <laughs> Next to Dick, you don't have to stand up, I've got to tell you that. Oh, we have oh, wonderful oh, Elaine Stretch. <laughs> <laughs> Next to Elaine and Don Carradine's place, we have marvelous Phyllis Kirk. <laughs> Stage, one of the top comedians in the business, Jerry Lester. <laughs> Over here on the challenging team, remember they may be the champs 29 minutes from now. How beautiful a team can you have? First, here is Dorothy Hart. <laughs> next, to, uh, next to Dorothy, the wonderful Hollywood star, Laurie Nelson. <laughs> and there's got to be a letdown somewhere. Here it is, Hans Connery. <laughs> And that all-around fine comedian, wit, entrepreneur, and what have you, Peter Donald. <laughs> hey, kids, while I'm introducing people, I might as well introduce to you, too, here, our lovely Revlon pantomime quiz girl, Miss Evelyn Patrick. Evelyn, will you step in? Oh, <laughs> Gentlemen, never mind. Keep your distance. Just keep your distance. Thank you. Well, you have my seat. You Thank here. you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> May I just say this? Will you please sit down, Hans? This will all work out. You'll see her after the show. But first, Evelyn and I both know something. I understand the girls out there have a cold weather problem. Is that right? Well, Mike, I'm afraid it's true. It's the problem of dry, chapped lips. But you know, the cold weather is only partly to blame. I found an ordinary, non-smear type lipstick can be the real reason. Because when I tried Revlon's new Lenolite lipstick, what a difference. No more dry chap lips for me. You see, it really is the beauty cream lipstick, specially made to soften and moisten your lips. Right, girls, it is the beauty cream lipstick, the new non-smear type especially made to soften and moisten your lips. If I were you, I would pick up some Revlon's new Lanolite lipstick tomorrow. Evelyn, thank you so much, thank sweetie. You, I'll see you a little later, okay? Thank you. thank you, we'll be right with you. Come on in, Dick, sit down. Either have four tremendous gentlemen or four awful wolves on the show. We'll find out as time goes on. Let's start off with Dorothy Hart. Would you step up, please, Dorothy? Hey. Hey. Dorothy, you look really lovely tonight. I'm Don't blame Dorothy. Just Thank stand you. <laughs> Incidentally, I, do, uh, I know your husband, Fred Vittieri, is out here, and he's going to have his uh, sports show. When does that start, and what's the name of it? Oh, that's Universal Travel and Auto Sports Show. Yeah. And it starts February 20th and uh, goes right through the 27th of February. Well, wonderful. Fred, you'll see Dorothy after the show unless we get to her first, so thanks a lot. Number 10 for Dorothy Hart here. Dorothy, let's see who sent it in. It means the Revlon gift basket goes to Beverly Price Dash, wouldn't you say? Dearborn, Michigan, there you are. Move up close. Wait for the Revlon belt. Dorothy Hart has a quotation. He proposed to her in a wind tunnel, but all he got was the air. <laughs> Quotation, you know, said it. First, he, 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 he begged, he pleaded, he proposed, 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 to, to, to her, her, yeah, in, in, in the, in a, in a, proposed to her in a, blow, in a hurricane, blow, blow, winds and crack your cheeks if room enough, in a what? Yeah. Mama, he proposed to her, to her in, 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 a in a wind tunnel. In a wind tunnel. How did you know? I used to. But, 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 she told him to blow. But, but, they. But, but, but all, but all, he, he got was got for there. All he got was there. All he got was there. Stop here. 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 Stop here.
Her husband's out there. That's what I was pointing at. Said, Sit down. <laughs> you flew in from the coast, now land. That's it. He proposed. Don't care for her husband. He proposed to her in a wind tunnel. <laughs> But all he got was the air. A wind tunnel is a thing that the Air Force uses to test uh, the wing and so on. But I have never seen a square one. Where have you been that they have square wind tunnels? Or I oh, oh, I see. Hey, I got to hurry. Never mind. Took you 47 seconds. Start the heart. Richard Egan, will you step up, please? How are you doing? Thank you. Dick, I know at first show is always rough, but we have a lot of fun here. You want to tell us anything about the picture and all of that stuff? It's opening February 9th at the Mayfair, Mike. Underwater. Uh -huh. Underwater with Jane Russell, Laurie Nelson, Gilbert Rowland. It's a wonderful picture. We shot it in about 10 weeks all over the globe, actually. It seemed, anyway. We went to four different locations, and we opened in Florida and the underwater premiere there. Actually showed it underwater. All I asked was a little question. You well, know. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, Dick. Good luck to you. Let's see how you can start your team off here, huh? Number 13 for Richard Egan. Don't worry about the number. Wait till you see what you drew. Uh -oh. That's a Revlon gift package. that goes to Mrs. Harvey Snyder, Denver, Colorado. There you are, Dick. Move up, go. Wait. Richard Egan has a song title. Who pulled the plug in my bathtub of dreams? <laughs> what is it? You can go. Oh, song. 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 First word is uh, when, who, when, who, who, who put the who, who shot, who pulled, who pulled, who pulled, who shot, who pulled, who put, who took, took, who took, who the cart pulled, who pulled, who pulled the cart, same man, who yanked, who yanked, who yanked, who yanked the who cart, in bottle, who <coughs> popped, who popped, who popped the cart, who pulled, who, who is yanked, it's the famous pull, oh, the famous, no, it isn't, the cart, oh, yeah, the one, one cart. Who uncorked? Who in? Who opened? Uh, who opened? Who unscrewed? Who opened? Sounds, sounds like. Sounds like. Sounds like. Drink. Who drank? Sounds like glass. Sounds like sounds glass. Like glass. glass. The bottle. name of something in the glass. Who the drank? Jump. Who drank? Jump. Who yanked? Oh, who yanked? Mug. 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 Sounds like. Mug. Oh. Sounds like mug. Who tugged? Who plugged? Who plugged? Now we gotta go very fast. Who plugged? Who plugged? Who plugged it? Who plugged it? Who plugged it? Who plugged in? Out. Plugged up. Up. Plugged up. No, no. Who plugged in? Who plugged under? Who plugged in the plug? Who plugged in my heart? Who plugged in my bath? My bath. My bath. Who plugged in my bathtub? Who plugged in my bathtub? Sleeping, 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 dreaming, 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 Oh, I wish we could get no. this. Couldn't you know what you've got? Who pulled the plug in my bathtub of dreams? No one plugged in your bathtub. <laughs> 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 Dick, it's easier for the regulars. The only thing, don't forget, kids, if, if uh, you get on the nose when they say pull, then they know where they are. Who pulled the plug in my bathtub of dreams? Let's go over to the Revlon School Board and see where we stand, shall we? Why? Let's see. Dorothy Hart took 47 that seconds. One, Richard Egan took 120 at the moment. <laughs> the challenges are ahead by 73 seconds. <laughs> and and Laurie Nelson, you step up, please. How you doing? <laughs> I can hear the guys cheering here. You look awfully putty. Putty? <laughs> Who put the plug in the bathtub? Why did you have fun with underwater? Oh, yes. Are, are, can, are we to talk only about quiet? Are we to talk only about underwater uh, at the moment? Well, um, I did underwater and I had a wonderful time. Uh -huh. The underwater premiere was wonderful. I have two more pictures coming out. Plug, plug. Yes, in, in the, the bathtub. bathtub. Yes. yes. <laughs> what are the names of uh, them, Laurie? Destry and the return of the creature. The creature? <laughs> hey, that's a good name we can use here. Is Destry riding again? I mean, the old uh, routine? Yes. Uh, yeah, I love the, that original the, the picture. The remake. It well, is. that old, Mike? Would you oh, I'm that old, but she is a number two for Lori Nelson. Lori, let me find out who sent it in. Sent in by, this is an interesting thing, an absolute tie, both on the date and the postmark. So we're sending both of them duplicate prizes. 
C.B. Laird, Jr. from Hohokus, New Jersey, and Mrs. Janice Cast in Brooklyn, New York. There you are. Oh, don't get scared. Laurie Nelson has a quotation from Shakespeare's Julius Caesar. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is oft interred with their bones, etc. Here we go. Quotation. Say. Say. Vermont. Lots of words. Okay. Lots of words. Is it a gag? Throw, throw, throw. Oh, Shakespeare, Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Right. you know the play. Right, you know the play. Um, uh, all right. Um. You, I, I. I. Um. Well, that's a good beginning. There's I. I, 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 I am. I, I take off. I, I call. I, I bring. I, I came. I come to Mark Anthony. I come to the very season. 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 Speak to me again. I just want to be sure. The fellow at the tarn under. Show. Everyone knows the show's on the level. I'm not sure you. Have, my voice is gone. That you heard, Hans. Now let's see if you can do it. Give it to me, will you? Friends, relatives, countrymen. No, just when I come to the very season, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is often turned with their bones. So let it be. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. I just want to be sure. I am going to murder you in about two seconds. Now, quiet, Elaine Stritch, when you step up. I said nothing this time. I didn't like quiet, quiet or anything. Her uncle is a cardinal. Her uncle is a cardinal. Yes. All right. Are you ready? Now, I will be very good and very quiet. You draw right. your number there. Your team won last Can I have the one on the floor? Yes. Do you really want this one on the floor? Not you really want me to have it. No, go ahead. You can have it. I don't know what it is. Number 11. Number 11 for Elaine Stritch. Yo. Elaine, let me see who sent it in. Sent in by Mrs. Jack Stone, Scranton, Pennsylvania. Move up close, wait for the Revlon Bell. Elaine Stritch has a punchline. She was only a glue maker's daughter, but her heart is stuck on me. Shakespeare, a punchline. Punch 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 she, 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 she was, 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 a, only, only, was only, only a, 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 a taffy pull. Spaghetti eater. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. No, no she taffy. Was a, she was only a Nicky. She was a Nicky. Chocolate. She was only a. Sounds like. Sounds like. Kiss. Kiss. Mouth. Color. Red. Color. Red. 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 Sounds like. Sounds like red. Sounds like red. Sounds like. Sounds like color. Sounds like. Sounds like color. She was only a. Sounds like. Oh wait a minute. Yeah. She was only a. No. Sounds like. Two, two. Glow, glow, glow. A glow maker's daughter. But, but she, but she, she no. But her, her, but her, but her, 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 She's gonna slug you. <laughs> and I don't want to. <laughs> she was only a glue maker's daughter. <laughs> but, her, but her heart is stuck on me. <laughs> now, just before we go to the Revlon school board, I want to remind you of something. A little while ago, you know, you heard how Revlon's new Lana Light lipstick is the beauty cream lipstick especially made to soften and moisten your lips. Now here's pretty Evelyn Patrick again with a simple little test that absolutely proves it. Thanks, Mike. You know, if any lipstick is really going to soften and moisten your lips, it can't just sit on the surface. It has to penetrate the way a soothing face cream does. So watch this test closely. We're going to start with just an ordinary sheet of paper. It's the same on both sides. Now I'm going to rub on each of these different lipstick ingredients. And we'll start with this greasy stuff first, which is actually used in some lipsticks. And next we have the famous lanolin you find in so many brands. But now I'm going to rub on Revlon's exclusive new lanolite. This is the very same ingredient they use in their fine, rich face creams. Now also used to beauty treat your lips. Notice that I put it on last. Now the question is, which is really penetrating best? Well, let's turn the paper over and see. 
Well, as you can see, it's getting dark right here because the lenalite is penetrating. And that's the same way it softens and moistens your lips. Yes, Revlon's new lenalite lipstick really is the beauty cream lipstick, specially made to soften and moisten your lips. Girls, honestly, I don't know what more you could want from a lipstick. It's the non-smear type. It stays on longer than any other lipstick you've ever worn. It's the first beauty cream lipstick, and it is especially made by Revlon to soften and moisten your lips. If I were you, I would buy Revlon's new Lanolite lipstick tomorrow. Now let's go over to the Revlon scoreboard and see how we stand at the halfway. Shall we? Laurie Nelson took 40 seconds. Elaine Stritch took 70 seconds at the moment the challengers are ahead. <laughs> this is my 103 seconds. I'm sorry, Hans Connolly. Uh, 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 I saw you chewing that, young man. <laughs> Hans, uh, you arrived just today. You got a catch in 11:25 Eastern Standard Time. Plane going back and everything. What's doing on the coast? Well, it's warm. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> That's what I like about this type of interview with Warm this man. Out. I'm doing a Schlitz Playhouse next week. Shooting All a right. Hey, Number eight infinity. for Hans Conried. A bow tie. And we a hope he will be back as often as we can bring him from the coast, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> number eight for you, Hans. That means a Revlon gift package goes to S. Garrick, Brooklyn, New York. There you are. Move up close. Hans Conried has a gag saying, he who dances must pay the piper. Also the waiter, the hat check girl, the parking attendant, and the doorman. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, gag. 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 He, they, they, he, 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 oh, three he, was, he, was, he, was, he, 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 who, he, who, he, who, he, who, he, who dances, who dances, with, dances in, dances on, dances, I know it sounds like it, I can't do that word, he, who dances, he, who dances, um, uh, First, first rhymes with worst. He who dances first, uh, uh, bus, bus. He who dances must. Uh, uh, he who dances must. Uh, pay the uh, pay the uh, the piper, uh, the piper. Piper. Oh, that's very vulgar. <laughs> <laughs> he who dances must pay the piper. Uh, uh, two, two syllables. First syllable. So 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 all so 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 all so all so. Also the the waiter the waiter the the head waiter the captain the the doorman oh the hat check girl hat check girl the the taxi the chauffeur the driver the car the 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 chauffeur the taxi driver, the hacky, the cab, the cab, the bus driver. The bus driver. You don't go into a place in the bus. It sounds like, sounds like two syllables. Dog, dog, bark. The park, the 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 parking, parking lot attendant, the parker attendant, and and the the head waiter, the doorman. You know, Hans, what this suggests to me that this could have been worked out easier in California. I know, but it's clever players. Quiet. In California than New York, because here you don't, don't drive your own car. Rather poverty. The whole situation is unfortunate. Huh? <laughs> we have four more cameras. Three of you go on, Hans, will you? I can't get any attention. Now, shut up! Hans Conrad, 119. Phyllis Kirk, will you step up, please? How you doing? <laughs> I'm not sure my memories are too nostalgic. I'm beginning to wonder, did I have to go through this every week with this man? <laughs> 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 Remember, you asked for it. Phyllis, it's wonderful having you back with us. John Carradine, as you know, is playing one of the main parts at City Center yes. in Time of Your Life, and he'll be back, but meantime, I can think of no one I would rather have on. I think that's very nice. Shall we leave? Well, the <laughs> What'd you do? Thank you. Nice. Tell me the number. I, it's not a secret. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Number 15 for Phyllis Kirk, sent in by D. 
Highway Love. How appropriate. Woodbury, Connecticut, there you are. Move up close. Phyllis Kirk Chicago. has this one. In Hawaii, men often make passes at girls who wear grasses. What is it? Quotations? Quotations. Parody. Parody. A lot of words. Wow. Go ahead. In? In. In. Ma. Uh, is proper it proper name? name? Way in away. another country. In What's another country. In Egypt? Honolulu. Honolulu? In, in Hawaii. In Hawaii. In Hawaii. In Hawaii. In Hawaii. I forgot it they, was on our side. In Hawaii, men, 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 uh, men uh, dance. Uh, Hawaii, in Hawaii, men, men uh, love, shape. men give, men uh, greet. Um, um, men sound like. like whatever. Sound like men. Um, um, men row, uh, row, swim. Men pull, dig, pull, dig. dig. Men. Uh, oh well, talk. Sounds like. Oh, it sounds. Pull. Hey. Take, like take, men make. make. Yeah. No. Men make, make, make. Oh, men make, make, make over. Men remake. Second syllable. The second syllable is make. No, the second. First, first make. syllable is make. Uh, the make opposite off. Make off. Make off. Make off. Make of. Make offering. Offering. Make, make off. up. Offers. Make. Number ten. Make ten. Make ten. Mistaken. Make them. Oh, it's over. It's, it's, Make, make over. Go, can you off, go on? Go, go make on. Over. All right. The second second syllable. syllable. The second syllable is make. First syllable is make. No, nothing. No first syllable. syllable is make. First syllable is off. Often, 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 often make. Often make. In Hawaiian men often make um uh uh. Well, make. Uh, well, often make. Make uh, Make uh, Make passes. Make passes, make passes at. Uh, women. <laughs> women. Cla glasses. Girls. Dame. Girls. 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 Who? 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 Uh, who? 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 Uh, who? Dress. Who? Dress. Who? Who? Um, who? Um, who? Wear. Who? 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 You know, that's a, that's a good example of how one small word, one small word can stop an entire two-minute thing, often, off ten. Can we take I mean, it's easy off yeah, stage. Good. I don't even, uh, all right, let's quickly go up the red line scoreboard because we're in a hurry and see how we stand. Hans Conry took 119, Phyllis Kirk 119. At the moment, the challenge is still ahead by 103. Peter Donald, would you step up, please? Oh, yes. <clears throat> Do you mind, Peter, if you step up, please? No, I just want you to know that I just finished making a picture under sour cream. It's called Borscht and Blackie. <laughs> Thank you. Jimmy Fiddler gave it four potatoes. Pete, you won't be here next stuff. week, but we'll see you the week after. I've got to go through real fast. Number 16 for you, and that was sent in by Nori M. Halverson, Chicago, Illinois. There you are. Move up. Peter Donald has a song parody, Trapped by the One-Armed Bandit or Let Me Go, Let Me Go, Let Me Go, Lever. <laughs> it's a song. A parody. Begins by. Sounds like. The general idea. A uh, leg. leg trap. Uh, trap. 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 By A. By B. By B. Two syllable words. First, first syllable is. Uh, one. one. One sleeve. Oh, one leg. Oh, one, one, one arm. arm. One arm. One arm. Trap by the one arm bandit. Trap by the one arm bandit. Color. Uh, or me go, let me go. Let me go. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me play, go. play. Uh, let me go. Uh, again? Let me go again. again. Let me go. Uh, let me go. Uh, let me go. 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 Three of them? All right, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. <laughs> <laughs> this, is the, this is the hand. The hand. Uh, what 
95 seconds, Jerry Lester. It's a takeoff on the popular song, Let Me Go, Let Me Go, Let Me Go. Okay, Jerry, we got to hurry quick like right. a flash. Go ahead and start. Get ready there. Here we go. Number nine for anchor man Jerry Lester. <laughs> Sent in by Mrs. Rose Broder, Bronx, New York. There you are. Jerry Lester has a punchline. I call my girlfriend adding machine because I can count on her. Oh, punchline. Punch many, many words. Many words. I call, call my, my sugar. My I call girl. my girl. I call my girl. My, uh, I girl my sweetie. I call my girl sweetie, right? No, I call my, my girl. girl sugar. Okay, I'm my girl sounds like. I call my girl. Sounds like. Sounds like. I call my girl. Often. I call my girl. Wait a minute. I call my girl. My girl. How do you do? I call my girl gently. I call my girl. Um. Uh. I call my girl. Often. What? Politely. Politely. Charmingly. Always. Sounds like. Oh, no. Sounds jello. Next one's worse. <laughs> Let's stay with this one. Let's go, no, Jerry. Come on. Tell us a story. I call. Funny thing happened to me. He doesn't. Oh, wait a minute. I, got, oh, Jerry. I was standing out. Uh, I call my girl. What I'm going to. I'm sorry. While you're doing that, I want to chat with you girls out there about a little problem I know you got. You sit down. This will take till next week. I mean the one, you know, where you spend an hour or more fixing your hair just so, and then you step out the door, especially in this horrible winter season, into a wet, rainy air, and before you know it, everything is wrong. Your curls are limp and droopy, and you want to kill yourself. Uh-uh. Not anymore. Because now I just spray my hair with Revlon's brand new Silken Net. Well, it holds my hair in place hour after hour. And yet it's positively non-stiffening, non-sticky. Leaves my hair so soft and silky. Well, that's easy, Evelyn. It's because it's the one hairspray that contains liquid lanolin. Now, you can see how soft Evelyn's hair looks, even if I can't say it at the moment. But the real test is in the touch, may I? Certainly. My golly, believe me, gals, it is really soft. Thank you, Mike. Well, you've always wanted to hold your hair in place without it getting stiff. Well, now you can with Revlon's wonderful new silken net. That's about it. That's the whole story. What more is there to say except to remind you to try Revlon's new silken net tomorrow? Will you remember it is positively non-stiffening? And next week, see what happens to Jerry Lester. Let's go over to the Revlon scoreboard and see where it stands. It's a tie. Peter Bowles took 95 seconds. Lester 120. Congratulations, winners. And still, the new champ. <laughs> And you chance the Hans Conry team. How much time have we got? Quick, tell me somebody. All right, right in your stumpers. I'll say good night for everybody when we're brought to you again by Revlon, the greatest name in cosmetics. Good night. Good night. Good night. See the names the same tomorrow night on ABC Television Network.